to go in because I need it to be sturdy. And what if it's gonna do? Just use my hand on some more peanut butter. All right, we're gonna place it in, and then we're gonna do, look at this, guys. I gotta keep this as heavy. Oh, God, it's going around. And we just put it into a lot of peanut butter that I melted. All right, so now I'm gonna lift up. Ooh, you've heard of candy apples? What about peanut buttered apples? All right, let it go. We're gonna go right into our peanuts. And you need to go fast with this, so. Peanuts have just as much protein as beef, but they also have way more nutritional value and calories. Forget about those little guys. We need to let it freeze. So I'm gonna go right into the refrigerator and that's gonna sit for five minutes. And then you're gonna have what is called this big bad boy. Looks really, really awesome, right? Just get you an apple core. And we're just gonna go down right in the middle. Oh, there it went. Ah, guys, look at those things. Look all the way through. Looks absolutely beautiful. We are not finished yet, and I'm gonna take this big bad boy, and it's time to make some pancakes. Place this into a hot pan. We got two, and I actually did a little bit of some paper, and then I'm gonna take ice cream. Oh, this is not ice cream. <laughs> this is actually the cake batter, the Japanese cake batter. I just wanna make you have your little fill in there. All right, so you're gonna put in just enough to where it covers 75%. Very, very important that you do 75%. Now here's something that's very, very important. You need to add a little water. And so I'm gonna do a little tour on this. And this is gonna to help to steam it. So you can already tell that the pan is hot. Last tip for you, make sure to cover it. And then we're good to go in about five minutes. Okay, so you can tell that we're good to go because the top is almost there. Now, here's the thing, you see the little bubbles. This is a technique for you. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab under, get you another spatula, same thing. Now we're gonna press at the same time. And we're gonna flip over. Just like so. Again, it's a little bit of playing uh, MacGyver here. Just gonna slide right on, and then it's gonna continue to cook. Now we need to do the same thing for the next one. So you're gonna pick up, and this is actually a little bit fun, but also challenging. So you do a one, two, and a three, just like that. You can go down, and go down, just ever so slightly. Cool. Now you need to recover, and we're gonna let those cook on the bottom to souffle up, and it is a special place of red heart time okay with the red hots this is what we're going to start doing so come on down we already have some apples and we're going to go right into them because we're going to be doing a cinnamon a little bit of spice butter and so we're going to add the last of our peanuts here and this is already some apples take and we're going to go right into a hot pan you see the color and so now this is going to be a red butter it smells wonderful already being that we're going to be making a red butter well, what do we need we need butter so now we're going to melt the butter and Compound butter is an easy thing to make that I know for myself when I was a little bit younger, I never thought of the possibilities. So we have apples, we have cinnamon, have a little bit of spice to it, and of course butter. I'm just gonna take that out, let it go. With everything now melted, and you can see how the colors have combined, it is now up to me to put this into an ice tray. All right, you're gonna take a little bit of a ladle. You see how the butter, we're just gonna pour that right into our ice tray. We're going to be making butter cubes of the Red Hots, the apples, butter, and peanuts. I'm going to continue to do this. And I know this is kind of looking probably one of those things weird, but guys, it tastes absolutely amazing. I'm just going to smooth this out, make sure everybody gets the last little bit. One more. Sorry about that. Okay, cool. Now, one thing, I'm actually going to go right into the freezer. And why is that? It's actually gonna help solidify the candy and the butter. So there you go. All right, with the last one done, I'm gonna pick this one up and we're gonna pull right off. Got the first one, you see how already it's fluffy? Go for the second one right there. Just gonna pull off and boom. Okay, guys, gonna start decorating just for a little one. Take you some whipped cream. Just gonna make a little thing right on the side. Let that stick up. I'm gonna take two my apples i'm going to place one there and then one so you can see right in that whipped cream you see that little goodness finish with a little bit more peanuts a little drizzle of some syrup i take this out and you're just going to push straight up you'll be able to take out one of the pieces so you got the red you got the hot and everything and people are going to be like what is that that's the best part of all this right there push up push up push up last little piece there 
What makes peanut butter one of America's most favorite foods? What well, actually gained popularity during the Second World War because we couldn't actually get the meat, so we substituted this. Now let's learn all about that today on the edge of Germany and France. Can't forget this mark. So one thing about it is that it's actually invented by a Canadian pharmacist back in 1880. Pretty cool, right? I'm gonna pull a little Ted Lasso. God, that's some good stuff. Welcome everybody. Mary, how are you doing today? Hello. Can we actually discover how to make peanut butter? Yes, let's are go. You, are, let, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so here we are in the reception area. Okay. We receive big bags of peanuts. This is a very, very big bag. There is one ton one of ton. peanut, raw peanut, okay. in this big bag. So for everybody back home, that's about 2,000 pounds. And I think about an elephant weighs about 2,000 pounds, so this is one elephant. So how many elephants do you get a day or a week? 60 big bags. 60 big bags? Yes. That's a lot. They come from Rotterdam. We did analyses, fats, salmonella, and aflatoxin. One thing I've learned is that there's no butter in peanut butter. Then why is it called peanut butter? I don't know. But there's no butter inside. Can we see what you do to then make peanut butter? Yes. All right, let's go, guys. The roasting area. There are four ovens. We roast peanuts about 20 minutes at 125 degrees. What is the reason that we roast the peanuts before we actually make the peanut butter? For the taste, salmonella. Oh, very good reason. Yeah. And then it's going to go in this tube. Yes. And it's exactly. going to go to a shaker, right? So let's. Can you show me the shaker? And so it comes in here and this shakes with yes, the vibration. Come down. Okay, all the peanuts have now come down from the roasting. So we're grinding and now we're turning into peanut butter, correct? Yes, exactly. All right, so look at this. Woo! I can taste this right now. No dirty fingers allowed. <laughs> Let's see how we package the rest yes. and then we'll be able to taste, right? Now let's put Burton to work. <laughs> All right guys, so I found some peanut butter, as you can tell, this is about 40 pounds worth of it and I love the stuff. Whenever you do open peanut butter, it has about a three month shelf life, so always remember that, but I think it's time to taste. All right, so you learned all about the fabrication of peanut butter. Now, here's the last thing, because I love fun facts. If you ever see this liquid on top, this means that you have a really, really good peanut butter, because there's no actually conservatives in it, aka palm oil for yourself. Make sure to enjoy a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on the house, compliments to myself. And guys, we'll see you next time. Make sure to share, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time.